Well, good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Welcome to Facebook Live, our weekly devotionals, or over on YouTube. Welcome. We are so glad that you're here to join us today. Sorry if I seem a little bit, a uh, little bit crazy today. I'm really. Uh, it was a fun night with the little one. Uh, she was hungry, which is good. So she was eating. <laughs> so we were up. We were up working, doing with her, so uh, getting her, uh, getting her fed and and all that. So that's fun. How are y'all doing? Everybody doing well? If you're doing well, send me a wave, send me a hi, send me everything. We're just gonna do this today, man. Ah, whoo! God is so good. God is so good. So it is May 14th. It is Thursday, May 14th, 2000, uh, 2020 or 2020. The double. The year of vision. The year of alignment. The year of seeing clearly. Clarity. And it is crazy, isn't it? Because the very thing that that is prophetically is what's being attacked right now. So it's kind of just... It's just an interesting, uh, interesting thing there, right? The the clarity and vision and alignment and seeing all that, and here we have this pandemic that is absolutely um, just demolishing that, right? <laughs> just absolutely demolishing what we're seeing. But anyway, so but I'm glad you're joining me today. <clears throat> I'm glad everything is going well, and uh, hopefully uh, all that is. In your life is going well too um, so but uh, uh, do me a favor reach out text somebody today tell them you love them uh, tell them you hope to see them soon right because we all give them one of those virtual hugs it's a button you know it's got the emoji holding the heart it's you know what is it sympathy whatever I don't know but it's a hug I tell them a hug I'm gonna hug did you know that today sorry this is a little jump of the subject did you know that today in 1804 was the first day, this is the day that Lewis and Clark set out on their journey to the Pacific Northwest. Yep, that is correct. On May 14th, 1804, Lewis and Clark started out from Fort Dubois, right there in uh, the St. Louis, Illinois area, uh, right there in that region, set out on their epic journey with Sacagawea. And uh, went out and did that. And so it's a great day. Why do I know this? Well, quite interesting. Uh, I am reading some books with my son as a part of his school in which we're doing some social studies and stuff like that. And um, we've been reading about Thomas Jefferson, the third president of the United States of America. And he was actually the one that uh, set him off and uh, yeah, uh, ordered that or however, whatever, directed that uh um, that expedition. So anyways, yeah. So, well, beautiful. Well, so I was reading this morning and I like to, um, I, I would, I'm, I'm an odd duck. I'm a, I am one of those weird people, um, um, where I enjoy, um, meditating on a scripture and sometimes I'll just think about scriptures for a week or two on end and so I don't always read every day but I do I do try to get the word in somehow sometimes I listen to it you know which is which is helpful where I'll just uh, get on uh, the, uh, the Bible app uh, the one I have uh, allows me to play so sometimes I can just play but I really just like when the Lord is speaking to me and and there's been some really cool things the Lord is speaking to me in the season and um, and I like to just meditate on certain words and, and, and so forth. And um, one of the things the Lord's been really touching on my heart is that we need to do the opposite of what is being broadcast in the atmosphere. And, um, and one of the things that is being broadcast is fear and chaos and, and um, uh, just just more fear. I don't, <laughs> I mean, you know what I'm saying? It's just like, you know, like, Oh, woe is us. Um, you know, we just need to, we need to, to, to stop and, 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 you know, not, not engage or whatever. And I don't just, I just don't believe that's true. I just don't believe it's true at all. In fact, I think we need to do the opposite and I think we need to be releasing. And so, um, I'm going to be kind of 
touching on a, I got a two part series here coming up. So we're going to talk about it, about our secret weapons as believers. You know, we have secret weapons as believers. So you want to make sure you join with us on Sunday because I'm going to be talking about those. But, but <clears throat> I, I love scriptures that are just full of hope. And I love scriptures that are full of, um, of, of just a declaration of, of that changes the atmosphere. I love to change atmospheres and I love to empower people to help them know how to change atmospheres because that is what we carry with us. That's what we have as believers. We have the ability to change the atmospheres and those atmospheres, um, that ability is what sets us apart that we don't come in and reflect. We're not a thermometer, right? We don't reflect what the atmosphere is. We change it. That means we're a thermostat, right? I don't know if you've ever heard that. It's one my dad loves. Thank you, dad. You've, uh, you've encouraged me there. So if you see this, thanks. I appreciate it. He was a good man. He's, he just was, he is a good man. He's still alive, right? So. <laughs> Anyways, but, uh, but yeah, we are called to be thermostats, not thermometers, right? And so just as we're going through this, but anyway, so the scripture I have, sorry, jumping out here, right here. See, I do have the Bible today, right? There you go. You can see it. But, um, but I was sitting there and I just kind of, I was just kind of reading through and, and I heard, I heard this Psalm and I, as I flipped open, it's actually bookmarked in my Bible. The, you can see it right there. So when I flipped open my Bible and I was just kind of going through today, I saw this and uh, I actually was starting earlier and I just, I was in Psalms 99 and listen, if you need some peace, start in Psalms one and read till you find peace. Paul man Warren, he told me that. And, uh, and, uh, he, is, uh, he was teaching in the, uh, and, uh, he said, if you ever need to find peace, just start in Psalms one and uh, read till you find it. If you want to find joy, start in Psalms one and read until you find joy. Right. Uh, but no, but seriously, um, so I was just kind of reading through and I came, I was reading this Psalms 99 one says the Lord reigns, the nations tremble. He sits enthroned between the cherubim. Let the air shake. Great is the Lord in Zion. He's exalted above all the nations. Let them praise your great and awesome name. He is holy. So I just love that. But then I got down to Psalms 100 and it's a very short Psalm. It's only five verses. So I'm going to read that to you. Okay. And this is what it says. It says, it's, a, it's, it's Psalms 100, a psalm for giving thanks. And it says this, Shout for joy to the Lord all the earth. Worship the Lord with gladness. Come before him with joyful songs. Know that the Lord is God. It is he who made us. We are his. We are his people, the sheep of his pasture. Enter his gates with thanksgiving and his courts with praise. Give thanks to him and praise his name. For the Lord is good, and his love endures forever. His faithfulness continues through all generations. Amen? Man, that's good right there. That is a good word. The Lord is good. Yes, shout to the Lord, all the earth. Man, let me tell you, right now, we need to be shouting. We need to be worshiping. We need to be doing what Paul said. When Paul said where our lives are a living Afri uh, living sacrifice, that our lives are a spiritual act of worship, we need in our lives right now, our bodies as we are, we need to be the living sacrifice. We need not living sacrifice. We need to be um, a sacrifice of praise. We need to be worshiping continuously through our lives because right now that's what needs to be broadcast in now we need to be shouting for joy we need to be worshiping we need to be declaring the goodness and the love and the everything of god because not only is he worthy of it not only is he worth it not only is it the best but here's the best thing about this right the best thing about this is that is what changes atmospheres that's what changes and see, that's really key in this season because if we allow ourselves to be affected by the atmosphere, we'll go down with it too. We're gonna go, we'll go down that train and we'll go down that trail because we're allowing the atmospheres that are around us to, to dictate how we act, how we think, how we dream, how we do all of that. And we cannot allow 
that atmosphere. We need to have heaven invade earth. We need to have heaven invade our minds. That's why in Romans 12, 1, it says to remove, rem, blah, 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 renew your minds daily, right? So that you will know, because that's your spiritual act of worship, right? To renew your mind, that you would know the will of God. Well, here's what we got to do, y'all. We got to get into heaven. We got to get heaven into us. And we got to start releasing it everywhere we go. And that is through our lifestyle. It's through our heart. It's through our thinking. It's our dreaming. That's how we release heaven. Everywhere we go. Fearlessly. Aggressively. Passionately. All of that. That's how we got to do it. Because if we're not doing that, if we're not changing the atmospheres that we're around, then we are essentially not connecting heaven with earth. Think about that for a second. We're not connecting heaven and earth. I don't know about you, but I don't want to be just a sit in the chair, Sunday morning Christian, where that's all I do. I want my life to be a burning, um, burning um, uh, testimony of the love of God. I want everybody I meet, everyone I come across, to know the goodness and the love of God. I'm not perfect at it, but I'm working at it. And I think God loves it when, when we work at it. But I want to tell you something here. It is time for us to change the atmosphere. It is time, time for us to change the narrative that is being broadcast across our country. And we don't have to do it. Listen, you don't have to jump on Facebook and you don't have to do some big media thing to change the atmosphere. Just do it in your home. Change the atmosphere in your home. How do we do that? Throw on some worship music. Throw on throw on something that just brings joy and life and declares the goodness of God. Do you like messages? Put on a message that you know you probably heard a hundred times. There's a really good thing. It's um, it's uh, <laughs> I have to I have to find it. Put it, but go to YouTube. YouTube, right? Use God. God can use YouTube. Go put in S M Lockridge. That's my king speech. Just type it in. S.M. Lockridge, that's my king. Go listen to that. You listen to that 10 times, and I guarantee you, you're going to be pumped to change the atmosphere. That's one of the best messages I've ever listened to in my life. S.M. Lockridge, that's my king. That's who he is. You go put that on, just on YouTube, go look it up, right? You want encouragement? Go get it. You can do that in your home. Do it with your family. Do it with your community, your, your neighbors, right? Change the atmosphere around your neighbors. Change the atmosphere when you go get some food. You go to the grocery store. Start speaking blessings over the people that are there. That's what I'm talking about. Shout to the Lord with joy. Enter his courts with praise and thanksgiving in your heart. For his love endures forever and ever and ever and ever and ever. Let's go change the atmosphere today, y'all. Right? Let's go change the atmospheres. Let's see the goodness and glory of God on display everywhere we go. Let's change it. Like I said, throw on music, throw on message, throw on YouTube, right? Go, go, whatever, whatever you gotta do. Grab a flag, right? I don't have a flag. Grab a pillowcase, use it like a flag. That's what Callie does. <laughs> She grabs, she swings the pillowcase around. Let's worship the Lord today. Let's get joy in our hearts. Let's get hope in our hearts. Let's fill the atmosphere. Let's broadcast heaven and not hell. Right? That's what it's about. Let's broadcast heaven and not hell. Anyways, I love you guys. Pray blessings over you. Father, just release heaven and release joy and hope and everything to all of us who are watching today. With all of us that are watching. Wow. We thank you. You guys have a great day. Go do something adventurous. In the spirit of Lewis and Clark. Go do something today. Go for a walk. Go for a hike. Go enjoy the presence of God. Today. Love you. Adios.